Hey everyone, it's Bishop Bowser again. Uh, just finished another workout. Didn't get a real long one today, so I just hit the cardio kind of hard because uh, today is, well, the Shabbat is over, Sabbath day. Normally try to rest, wait until sunset. So didn't have too much workout to do. Time for workout, I should say. But I just want to share with you today that, you know, ask you a question and then share a few things with you. Are you maintaining a life, your life, or are you living your life to the fullest? Just want to give you, tell you a few things that you can do to begin to live a fulfilled, positive life in God. Number one, be thankful, right? Be thankful to God for what he's done, what he's doing, what he's about to do. But live in the moment and live in the present with God. Thank him for everything that he's done. Acknowledge him and everything that you do. And he'll direct your path. But God wants you to thank him. First thing you do in the morning is just to thank him. All through the day, give him thanks. Um, when you honor God, he will honor you. And then secondly, only do those things that will bring you closer to God. There's so many things in this world that is competing for your attention, your commitment. And you got to remember that not everything that everyone is doing is going in the direction that God wants you to go. So you have to stick to the plan that God has given you, the purpose in which you were born and came into the world to uh, fulfill and do only those things that bring you, move you closer to God. And if it's not that, then it's what it's gonna do is pull you away. And even though you might be doing things that may seem, you know, like it's something you should be doing, you're not going to be fulfilled. You can only find fulfillment and be able to enjoy what you do when you're doing and those things that bring you closer to God and what God has called you to do. And last but not least, always walk in a spirit, live in a spirit of forgiveness. Um, there's so much to be hateful for, bitter about, resentful about. People will betray you. They will hurt you. They will talk about you. Uh, bad things will happen to you in this world your encounters with people in this world. Folks will do all type of things to get you upset, uh, cause you to lash out, do things you shouldn't do. And I know I've, I've fell into that trap, but just walk with a spirit of forgiveness, forgive folks, have a forgiving heart, love everyone, and you will begin to live a life more abundantly rather than living a life that you are maintaining. All right, that's what I want to share with you today. So live a life of fulfillment. fulfillment. Live a life of joy. Live a life that the that the kind of life that God wants you to live. And don't just maintain struggle and, uh, hey, I made it through another day. No, live through another day. Enjoy that day. Find fulfillment and satisfaction in everything that you do. In God. All right. God bless you.